there are certain areas that produce very high quality white oak. Uh, and specifically the, the uh, Ohio River Valley, uh, close to home, the Hudson River Valley, which is just 40 miles from here. Uh, parts of West Virginia, parts of Virginia, parts of Maryland, um, as far west as Illinois. And each state or each region has a, an area that doesn't grow all over the place, but certain specific ecosystems that have the, the right this and the right that. Uh, within each one of those states is where you'll find the, the white oak. White oak likes river valleys and it likes, uh, it likes a somewhat limestone soil and areas that were glacier, where the glaciers passed and, and ground things up seems to be one of the key factors in supplying or uh, in providing uh, the, the, the environment that a, that a white, white oak tree prefers. Uh, the oaks in general have a long taproot and white oak has a mighty, mighty powerful long taproot. So that's why we use these nursery boxes. We want to get the, a straight shot with a, with a taproot for about three feet. When you plant that, you have to make a, we have an auger that makes a hole over three feet deep. So the taproot, as though, it, as though the acorn germinated there and sent it down, you're of course accelerating it because you've raised it in a box for several years. And, uh, uh, and then when you backfill it softly with some, gently with some soil, just so you encase it, that, that straight taproot, and you'll have a very, very vigorous tree. That's, that's the key right there. It'll live if you scrunch it all in there haphazardly, but the tree won't, the, the tree won't be as, as vigorous. It'll, it'll show signs of weakness. Because of the root structure? But yeah, it, it needs that taproot going down. And, and these big old white oaks, it goes down 20, 30 feet. And then it goes out, I mean, it sends out ancillary roots. It's almost like the, you see this, this great crown, the roots are doing the same thing underneath the ground. They're way out, you know, the, the, you see the reach of the, the upper part of the limbs. Well, there's roots going out there from the taproot that far. It's amazing. Exactly, yeah, if you could visualize that, you know, here's top and then have a, have the, you could see another tree growing down there. And uh, yeah, that's probably why they live so long. They really send out a foundation to uh, nutrients and, and hydration and an anchor too. I mean, it's like it's holding them in the, 